Yeah, dog. The Nin Ben video. I like how the, the titles even kind of come in beat with the song. Like they're in sync with the beat of the song. I think when it exposes the 2020, the solo, and then um, the stripe, it's all in beat with the song. So for me, it's more attention to detail like that, which I appreciate. This video, there is a, there is a weight to it. There is a heft to it. Um, that might just be me picking it up. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a deliberate thing. I definitely feel maybe more of a sense of um, exploring something that's new, being amazed, being bewild bewildered by, you know, what surrounds you, the new location you find yourself in, immersing yourself in this and just getting the gravity of it all, you know, like breathing in the air, you know, feeling that sense of um solitude in this video which i like i like that it is another element i mean i know you're kind of theming these places uh, as per elements and this uh, the the nin bin one happened to be heaven if i'm not mistaken uh what i did like is that the fact that there's a strong connection with sky i think that for me that's kind of like your obvious point of reference and it kind of shows even in the i think in the few beginning shots and even in the end shot when you think of heaven, it's normally people ascending to heaven. So the, the upward movement and the upward motions of a lot of the, the camera transitions for me, thematically, that, that's a nice connection. The standing on the dragon uh, scene is exactly the scene I'm talking about, which for me personifies this video. Where man looked like he was just on top of the world. Man looked like he was happy. He's like, this is a new experience. You know what I mean? A man is out here taking it all in, exploring, you know, that environment, being one with that type of, I don't know, all the elements that come with it. I mean, like, what I love is that you're showing that there's interaction with your environment. You're not there for the pictures. You're actually there also consuming what it has to offer. And for me, that's another that's another shot. With the dragon shot that I mentioned... But the shot where you're high-fiving the kid and then the kid's reaction is like he's laughing and he's like, you know, like maybe it's because, I don't know, maybe he doesn't see enough of people like you or maybe he knows that you're a tourist and you're foreign and he's kind of just trying to show you around. Whatever the case is, you get a bit of a sense of that. So I kind of like that. The spinning cam transition was also cool. There's a part where your camera, oh, well, there's a transition you do where it's, it's changing kind of sceneries and the camera's spinning that was quite nice it almost made me feel like it was you know how there's cycles of a day and then they like to show those cycles of a day by the earth spinning yeah so i thought that was quite dope i loved the handstand montage man i was like that's fucking right you have done a crazy amount of those in the amount of pictures that kind of flash through because they're in all sorts of different scenery it's just like damn but it works so well that's kind of a flash through montage so yeah that that's that shot was dope but i like the aspect of praying and the prayers that for me kind of sold it up and kind of made it go full circle into the, the heaven theme i think there's like parts where you are at a i don't know if it's like um a temple or a shrine i'm not actually sure what those areas are called but there's like these guys who are well there's a guy who's praying then there's i think one way it's you and the guy and you guys are both doing like a prayer yeah that shit was dope that shit was dope and i think that's why it maybe made me feel like i was more invested and it was more deep for me it was just because I think it's just the, the sky, the heaven, the fact that you are not necessarily around a lot of people in that video, which makes it feel a whole lot deeper for me. So I think this was towards the end. Uh, you know what I mean? Like a sample and the person in it is saying, let me have some fun. Um, I think that's the last line even from the from the video. I want to actually know if that's reference, if that is a kind of tongue in cheek reference into kind of you going at it in terms of editing the video, because I do know these videos were meant to be that fun thing for you. These these videos weren't necessarily meant to, to have some sort of strict criteria that they had to, to adhere to. So I think that was quite nice to also hear that at the end of the video. Um, 
I'm not sure if it was like a self-aware type of reference to be like, yeah, I'm actually having fun with these videos. Or if it was maybe more in, in, in terms of you, you were having fun at the actual, you know, city. Like, all the footage and the entire video was actually just showing you having fun. Yeah, but um, I also found that dope. Just that last snippet at the end.